and without getting a drop of paint on anything but the flapping blossom. What's that? We're dead, Patrick. So breaking news, um, just now. Um, Iran just shot missiles at an Iraqi base uh, that the United States was occupying. Um, this is this is pretty big. Uh, this could be the start of a lot. Well, not really a start because you think the United States assassinated um, Soleimani, but this could escalate things even farther. Um, I'm doing this video the morning after. And since there's been a lot uh, to happen and come out. So Iran, apparently, there was a plane flying over to Boeing 747 from... Don't remember where it was from. But it was flying over and... Um, apparently it crashed. <laughs> so, uh, very coincidental timing there. Um... If it's really a coincidence, but I don't believe it is. I, I hope it's not on the United States. Um, I don't know why Iran would do that, but it's possible Iran would have done that. I guess. Um, but I don't know. Um, it, it could be anybody's fault at this moment. Um, and we have absolutely got to. Uh, elect a new president in 2020 because Donald Trump is so incompetent and this is blood on his hands. These Iraqis that died when this airstrike, when this air base was uh, destroyed or base in um, Iraq was destroyed, those lives are on him. Absolutely. Um, that's blood on his hands. He did this. They were told to remove our troops from the United, uh, from Iraq. He did not. Instead, he sent more. He is going to get our troops killed. And if you if you even remotely care about your troops, do not support this president. This guy is going to get people killed. It's really scary. This could be the start of World War III. It's, I mean, it is likely that this could be the start of a huge war. And if you love the war in Iraq, you'll love the one in Iran. Um, there are some people that they've never met a war they didn't like, and they, I mean, there, there's going to be people all over, um, a social media calling you a, uh, anti-American for not supporting this war. And I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you, you're on the right side of history. Wars are highly, I mean, there, it's almost never that we go into war with a justified reason. War is absolutely for profit, and I just saw that stocks for defense in the United States apparently looking like they're going to be on the rise. People are making money off of dying soldiers. This entire system is fucked, and somebody has got to come and change the entire thing, and I believe that Bernie Sanders is that candidate. This would not happen under Bernie Sanders. It wouldn't. Um, it, it, it's incredible the level of incompetence that this president possesses. It, it blows my mind that this guy has the ability to launch weapons that could destroy families. He's he, he, he's so incompetent. And if you would have went to impeachment with something like this instead of a Ukrainian phone call? Are you kidding me? We you could have easily had him impeached. But instead they chose Nancy Pelosi chose the phone call as the reason to proceed. And that is embarrassingly stupid. Sorry, that's that's a that's a topic for another day. <laughs> but I mean, I'm so serious. This guy has no clue what he's doing. And we have 
got to find another leader that can actually lead this country. Bernie Sanders is going to change the whole system and make it better for working class people. I guarantee quality of life will increase drastically under Bernie under a Bernie Sanders presidency. The, Donald Trump's dangerous and we cannot afford to have another four years with this man. We just can't do it. Um, this is incredible. And if you ever feel so kind, you can please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I hate asking for likes and subscribers, but I'm a small channel. I'm looking to get bigger. So, and I enjoy making these videos for y'all. So if you enjoy the videos, be sure to show your appreciation by dropping a like. Have a conversation in the comment section. I'd love to hear your opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.